talk just off the cuff. Them two videos that I put up yesterday about HT, uh, John Menardio, right? He goes by Handsome Truth as well. And, you know, he has, they have their own site. I used to spend a bit of time watching some of it, you know, trying to educate myself on the other side of things as well, which is important, right? A lot of people go like, well, you can't, these people are this, these people are that. You can't, but you have to understand where people are coming from. If you can't understand where anyone's coming from, right, then you're always going to dismiss them as this, that, and the other, right? A, a, a derogatory term, or you know, or you know, all them attacks on people—they're this, they're that, they're a Nazi, they're this, right? Okay, and that is to sidetrack everyone away from looking at certain things because this is what people really are afraid of. Oh, other people might view me as bad. Other people might view me as not a good man or a good woman. That's one of our biggest fears, right? They may, once you get past a certain point of something, right, then you realize that people are never gonna stand with you. People and don't like you. People are not interested in you. They don't care what you're doing. They're not interested at all. And that's okay, right? That's okay. But to live in this dilute, what we pay for, for the approval of other people, the price that we pay for the approval of other people that don't even like us anyway, and would not stand with you, and alter their opinions based on wavering nonsense by other people that are around them. People's minds are wavering all the time. Their emotions are wavering all the time. So the price that we pay for this is incredible. So I take I take the stance of, I really don't wanna care about what other people think about me today. And then five minutes, they're gonna change their mind, right? These bozos are gonna change their mind in two minutes, right? So the way that I look at it now is that I will look at and listen to everything, everyone. I look at all people, evidence that they have to present if they were there and their opinions and all that kind of stuff, right? So the, the, re the reason I made that video yesterday is because a lot of the opinions that they hold are backed by a lot of factual stuff. And all you have to do is take a look around at this world the way it is right now and see that these people that are playing innocent victim all the time are using a fantastic ta tactic, a fantastic tactic where if they're the victim and a certain thing happened so many years ago, so many people were killed, right? If you look into that, you'll come up with your own conclusion. And oh, a conclusion will come up to you. You won't come up with it. You'll go, oh yeah, yeah, okay, I was, I was um, brainwashed by the mass media, you know? And so the reason I put his video up is that, is that He's in prison right now, all right? And I know that people don't stand with anyone. They don't stand with anyone. They don't, they won't. I remember that time when I got out of prison. I was only in prison for a week, but they put me in a, in a, in a proper prison where all of the, the killers and rapists and murderers were, right? So when I got out after a week, no one cared. I could have been killed in there. There was a couple of instances where I could have been killed in there, right? So you think anyone cared? No, couldn't care less didn't care to, didn't, not interested, yeah, whatever, dude, that's fine, but I mark down everything to do with other human beings, right, and their mind play, and why they shouldn't do this, and why they shouldn't do that, right, there's nothing more apparent to me than people that claim that they care for me, there's nothing more apparent to me than people that say that they trust me, when their actions a few days later will be the opposite of it, there's nothing more apparent than that, all right, because I'd, I'd prefer people that were just direct, open, and honest, and if they make a mistake, then they just say it. All right, none of this nonsense, none of this cryptic nonsense, none of this, you know, uh, speaking uh, indirect. Just say what you gotta say, dude. All right, so the reason that I made that video is that the guy's in prison. I don't know if he went to prison or jail. It's different, right? So. But I do know that one minute in jail is different from anything that you've experienced because anything can happen in there. He could be killed in there. He could be knifed in there. You know, he could be, anything could happen to the guy in there. He could, he could get his face slashed open, okay? They could have people waiting from in there, okay? He could have hot water poured down or, uh, with sugar, 
that's what they do in jail sometimes. They put like they boil hot water. They, any weapon that you can use, right? Loads of sugar with hot water, and that will take the skin right off you. Anything could happen to the guy in there, right? As if anything could happen to me while I was in prison. No one cared, right? So the reason I made the video is that, like, you know, to show even a tiny bit of support, even if other people go, you're supporting a guy like that? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I am, yeah. What are you going to do about it? Yes, I am. I, I would much prefer someone like him, who I don't agree with everything, but no one agrees with everything, right? But I understand that the guy, the guy has taken a stand from what you can believe in any kind of media outlet, to be honest. Because I don't know exactly what's going on with any media outlet. Because you always have that element of trust, and that is a little bit of fairyland there mixed into everything. Because unless you're on, you know, on boots on the ground kind of witnessing, then you don't really know, right? So, but I do respect the guy as far as I can see. And I support the guy in, in a certain way as well, especially when he's put in prison for nothing. When you have your personal physical freedom taken away from you for nothing, like I like happened to me not so long ago. All right, you look at everything in a very different way. And plus another another thing to uh, that most people probably wouldn't know about this guy as well is that you have to have a tiny bit of imagination with everything as well. Do you think that guy didn't know what what was going to happen to him? He wanted to be arrested. Okay. He wanted to be arrested. This is all part of a plan, I'd say. This is only just a guesswork from my side, right? But I'd say it's all part of the plan. He wanted to be arrested. Okay? You can't just put people in prison and put people in jail for nothing because you don't like it. He'll go to the High Court, he'll go to the Supreme Court. Right? And because they have the First Amendment in America. Okay, and these people that he's talking about are a problem in this world. Yes, they dare say I said it, right? These people are a problem. Okay? These people are a big problem in this world. Okay, so he wanted to be arrested. So he's exactly where he wants to be. He knew what was going to happen. You know, when you have a, a massive, massive group of a massive gang and the brainwashing automatons working for them, you have an un un unbelievable leverage over people if you want to. But there is power and no power though as well. And I think that this guy wanted to be arrested. And it'll be interesting to see what happens. But there is gonna be, there is going to be, you, you have power when you have no power in many areas, right? And you can start to see things when you allow people, in some certain instances, right, to have a certain amount of power over you. And this is all just the beginning of all this stuff. You do understand that, right? It's all just the beginning of all this kind of stuff. You know, what's in the dark will always come up to the surface at some point. All right, and people will realize what's happened, what's really happened even in history, what's going on. Why are these things happening? Why is this allowed? Why was the European Union formed? Why did this happen? Why why are these things happening, right? Why did that thing happen a couple of years ago? It's all connected, right? It's all connected. What's going on right now? Why are they, Why is there such a big insurgence of what's happening in, with Palestine and Israel at the moment? It seems kind of weird that they would, have, they, that they would go in with such a forceful attack when people are starting to wake up what's, what's really going on, right? It's all connected. Him being arrested is very much connected, incredibly connected with what's going on with Israel and Palestine right now. All right? Once people start to wake up, you can't stop it, dude. You can't stop it. You're always going to have the diehard, nah, 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 good people. Yeah, they're not good people, dude. Okay? The best, the worst people in the world are the ones parading as good. All right? You know, as Bill Hicks would say, give me the Satan worshipping family down the road. You know, at least I know where I stand with them, right? <laughs> I yield.